Welcome to my car and train channel and today I'm going to show you one of my famous how-to videos when you have a ratchet uh, wrench which is not working anymore. can be an issue of dust, of wear, but most of the time uh, if you disassemble it and you clean it you are going to see that it's going to work very well. So I'm going to show you how in uh, five minutes or less you are going to get a new wrench, uh, a new ratchet wrench out of your old uh, ratchet wrench which actually is not that old, it just needs some maintenance inside. I love this ratchet, it's a quarter inch but there is a problem, it's not working a anymore, uh, difficult to pivot from uh, uh, fastening to unfastening, uh, it's sliding, which is very typical that uh, the mechanism needs to be clean inside and all. This schematic shows well the double ratchet system or claw ratchet and also the drive gear. The areas in red are the areas where typically you have dirt and lack of lube. And this is what we are going to fix. Uh, this issue happens way before excessive wear of the mechanic. So, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to remove that spring uh, which is here around. So, typically, with two small screwdrivers, you are going to be very successful at doing that. So, you open it, and actually, for the purpose of this video, I have a, I have a second one, which was also in bad condition. So, the, the, the snap ring, I open it, with the two uh, screwdrivers and then remove it from uh, its uh, uh, groove and the mechanism is out. I am showing you here a selection of different ratchet wrenches with different ways to access to the mechanism. Those two are the FACOM ones a very upscale in France and in Europe so you have a screw very easy to remove this one also has two small screws again extremely easy this one a snap ring so as difficult uh, it's the most difficult one uh, similar to the one in the video this one and this one they have a, a plate and with a, a fine a screwdriver, basically, you pop the plate out. So now that the mechanism is out, what we are going to do is that we are going to use the air pump to clean it completely. So, let me put cleaning it completely. You don't see that a lot, but there is a lot of dust which is coming out from the inside. Now, before oiling, you are going to double check that the teeth come out in the same manner 
when you go on one direction or the other C can you can you see it here we go so it needs to be symmetrical in case it's not the case you you need to continue to clean inside before oiling you are going to reassemble it why because if there is a mechanical problem you you need to find it before it's full of oil and now you are going to see if it's working well even without oil so let me see in one direction it's blocked the other it's working well and now I am going to switch it and it's working well in the opposite direction and it's blocking prior to that it was absolutely not working in that manner make sure also that you lubricate that uh, you clean properly the outside with the tip now the question is which kind of uh, lubricant which kind of lube are you going to put inside uh, if you read online there are a lot of different opinions I think at the end uh, it seems that all the lubes are kind of equal uh, a lot of people recommend to use a 5W20 I have only a 5W30 so that will be good enough for today so that's what I'm going to use a 5W30 so I've put some of my uh, 5W30 and I'm just going to uh, put some here all around making sure that it goes well into the mechanism and now we are going to be uh, ready for reassembly good way also to clean a little bit some so the, this ranch actually it was kind of a worst case scenario because it was very very rusted so with the oil I'm going to clean it there we go and then I'm going to put it back and now we are going to do the snap ring here we go actually it was easier than what I thought and let me see yeah yeah you hear the click one way yes the other way no and now the opposite perfect let's try with the socket it will be even easier to show the demonstration one way yes the other no and now and the other way no I can tell you this socket I was ready to throw it away very easy process and as always uh, it's very uh, pleasant I think to repair your own tools I think that so many people just uh, discard them or trash them as, as soon as there is something wrong but uh, 
somebody who likes mechanic needs also to be able to take care of his or her own tools. If you have any questions, please ask them through the comment section below this video. You may see also some uh, sponsor links for the product that I have been using. Thank you very much for watching this how-to video.